Here's the integral for you guys. We have to integrate from negative 1 to 1 of x squared over 1 plus 2 to the sine x power. Hmm. First of all, let me tell you guys that the answer to this integral is not 0, because this right here is not odd. But anyway, as always, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, hopefully you guys have a chance to try it, and now let me tell you guys that the integral right here is actually the same as the integral from 0 to 1 of just x squared, and this is of course nicely equal to 1 third. Although, this right here is not odd, but we still have a really nice property whenever we have an integral in this form. And of course, that integral property is on my shirt already. Be sure you guys go check that out. Anyway, here is my claim for you guys. I claim that whenever we have the integral going from negative a to a, if the top is even, I'll just put on even of x to represent an even function, and then the bottom, if it's 1 plus some number, I'll just put on b for the number, and the power here, if it's an odd function power, then this integral is in fact the same as the integral going from 0 to a, and we have that even function only. That's all we have to integrate. And that's exactly what I did right here, because of course, x squared is an even function, sine of x is an odd function, so we were able to go from here to here, and if you know this property, you will be able to solve this kind of integrals in 3 seconds, or maybe even faster. You can do this in your head. Well, well, of course now, we have to prove this right here. So, let's go ahead, and we will work off this from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, right? So, here we go. We have to go from negative a to a. Well, this is from 0 to a. Let's just cut this integral into two pieces. So, let's look at the integral from negative a to 0, and then we have the even function, even of x, over 1 plus b to the odd of x. Right? And of course, we have to add from 0 to a, and of course, the integrand right here stays the same, 1 plus b to the odd of x, like that. Well, well, this seems okay, because I have the integral going from 0 to a. I want to work with this a little bit, so let me do that on the side for you guys. Hmm. Perhaps we can do some substitution, because this number is kind of bothering me. We have negative a. I kind of just want to end up with plus the a, so maybe we can somehow work with that much better. So, let me just put down a note right here. I will just work out right here, just in case. No, I run out of space, so I want to have enough space here. Note, the integral from negative a to zero, let me just write it down again. Odd, I mean even of x, one plus b to the odd, there we go, of x dx. Right here, I will do a substitution. What kind of substitution? Well, u sub, of course, then u equal to negative x, right? And of course, let's just do the work. x is equal to negative u, and of course, differentiate that, we get dx equals negative du. And now, put this back here. But of course, don't forget this is x going from negative a to 0. Well, take this to a u world. When x is negative a, put it here, u will be negative negative a. Of course, u will be starting at a, put 0 here, you will still be end up with 0 like that. And now let's see. On the top we have even, but the x is the same as negative u, so we just enter negative u here over, this is 1 plus b, and this is r of negative u, like this. And dx is of course right here, namely negative du. So we are in the u world. Okay, let's see what we can do. First of all, you see that we have this negative. This is good because this allows us to change the order of the limit of integration. So, don't blink. This, this and that, right? So, this is going to be going from 0 to a, and this negative will disappear, right? Alright, now, how about what's even of a negative u as the input? Well, we know 
even of negative u is the same as even of u because that's a property of the even function. So this right here, we'll just have even of u. And for the property of an up function, we can just take the negative to the front right here. So we have the denominator as 1 plus b to the negative r of u. We still have the u, the u like this. OK, so far so good, but we can make it better because uh, okay, we have the limits of integration being the same now, right? But, but this is not the same as that. It's OK, we can just do some work right here. OK, so here we just multiply the top and bottom by b raised to the positive out of u. And of course, we'll do the same on the top right here as well. And this is still the u here. This is very nice, you will see. Here is the integral from 0 to a. And of course, this time style, I'll just keep it as b to the r of u times the even of u. And this is over, this time style is of course just this, which is b to the r of u. And this time that well, it's just 1 because this and that, they add up to be 0 for the power. And of course, you just get plus 1 right here. And you have the du. And now here's the deal. Notice that we have a definite integral right here, going from 0 to a, and we're using u right here as a dummy variable. Keep in mind, the answer right here will just give us a number, right? The truth is, it doesn't matter if you're using u right here, or t right here, w right here, or even x right here. I'm going to put this back to replace with the first piece of the integral right here, and we will be using x for all this again. So let me write that down right here for you guys first. And I know we're using u here, but here's the deal. Whenever we have to integrate, let's say, x squared dx, and first is the integral of, let's say, u squared dx, d du, sorry. <laughs> you may be like, hey, this is one third x to a third power plus c, and this is one third u to a third power plus c, whatever, right? Well. If you have to go from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, you can nicely put equal sign because this is 1 third. Likewise, that's 1 third. So don't let the u or the x bother you at all, right? So that's the deal. Don't let u bother you. Anyway, right here, of course, we can put it down. And now, here is the beauty. Because both the integrals are going from 0 to a. Of course, we can put them together. And... Uh, they have the same exact denominator, so you can just add up the top, and you'll see the following. Here we go. This is equal to, where's my equal sign? There. Integral going from 0 to a, and let me just put the denominators together, which is 1 plus b to the add function, like this. And we, of course, just need to add this and that together, but the beauty is that, you see, we have this times the even function, and this is just the even function by itself. We can factor out that even function, isn't it? I'm just going to factor that out right here in the front, right here, even of x. And what's the left over? This right here, we have b to the out function. And this right here, of course, we have to plus 1, like this. And of course, I know the dx. And of course, you see that the beauty is this and that. They are exactly the same, because the order of addition doesn't matter. So you can just cancel them out. And in the end, you have a really nice property. This integral is just the same as the integral going from 0 to a of whatever that even function is. Very, very nice. Right? So this is one of the really nice properties that involves the even and also the odd function. A few things to mention though, of course, this number b has to be legit. You cannot have negative b because sometimes you may end up with like, you know, complex rule. So don't do that. Here should be a plus. But in some cases, when you have a minus, this might still work, depending if the integral converges or not. So let me just put down the 1 plus version for you guys. You can also try to think about what if you have the minus right here instead. But anyway, with this property in mind, you can create a lot of crazy loopy integrals that you wish. But anyway, I think you know this is so cool and one of my favorite property. When if you guys know the property, this is like a shortcut. 
Anyway, hope you guys all like this. And if you guys would like, you guys can check out my t-shirts. Links will be in the description for you guys. Anyway, as always, that's it.